All right, y'all, beginning of the week, we're going to get jobbing. And we got a lot of sewer stuff to do. You saw in the last week that uh, doing the digging and getting all that ready for the, uh, the plumber to come. So now we're going to get some pipe in. But if you could, please click that like, click that subscribe. It's absolutely free. It gets us a little bit closer to our goals. So with no further ado, let's get into doing some plumbing. Hey, y'all, if you're wondering what you stumbled into, you stumbled into our little slice of life here in Germany. Uh, we bought a farm a couple years ago. And yeah, we've been doing renovations and getting ourselves, you know, self-sufficient, moving to wood heating and solar and all that. So join us on this little adventure. All right, y'all, if you're new here, welcome. Please click that like and subscribe button. It uh, It's 100% free. And yeah, it helps us, uh, you know, achieve our goals. So if you look on the ground behind me, you'll see that we have some big drilling machine stuff. Let me flip you around. So that is a jig that that big drill goes into that that big drill bit goes on we're making some big holes and we're doing this all because the drain lines through this room in particular let me turn on some lighting the drain in this room in particular uh it was coming from the kitchen which is on the other side of that wall and it was running, you know, through the floor and to this bathroom in here. This lovely uh, 60s motif bathroom that all that's left of it is the tile on the wall, which will be going. But we have to drill a big hole in the floor right there to go outside. And I'll take you around outside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so the plumbing I was talking about, we're on the other side of the wall. Here's that bathroom window. Is that plumbing down there? So if you've seen in the previous installment, that is going. So we're gonna try to come through the wall right here on this, this cement that's sticking out. So the idea is to come through the wall and then tie into this line and do away with all of that craziness and connections and all that. It's not going to be easy. Okay. All right, y'all. So we took this all out of the floor. And when we lifted this big square, we found out that the size of the pipe was ginormous. So this is a pipe for a toilet. That's, that's like... That six inch pipe. Look at the size of that. So, um, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to lift this pipe out. So, the, the plan now is this pipe goes through the wall, and you saw on the other side where there was that whole bunch of connections. So, the idea is to interrupt those connections and pull this pipe out of the, out of the hole. And then we don't have to drill a hole through the wall. There's already this huge hole. I mean, that is huge. Why it's so big, I don't know. But, yeah. So, um, the plumber is not a big, uh, big about video and stuff like that. So, um, you won't see a lot of action stuff. Unless it's just me working. And... Um, you will see, of course, the results as we, as we get to them day by day. So this was yesterday. Um, I just shot in here today, this, you know, this, this afternoon to get all this out of here because he's coming here shortly and we're going to go ahead and continue on. And we still have probably about six feet of floor to cut. And I do believe we're coming in with a wet saw to do that. So yeah, more to come. But yeah, we'll be back. All right, so the weather's been holding us up a little bit. 
um, on the outside, but we've been working on the inside. So I gotta go out and put this cap on, which means I gotta pop apart this pipe. So, there's a light mist coming down, which is unfortunate. But we gotta go down there, get this cap on. So, one, uh, one of the things you guys have noticed is there is a lot of fittings on there. So the reason that was is because this was the original and you can see it comes through at I think it's 250. And then we had to bring it down to 110 and bring it around. So what I'm going to try to do is get this little coil of uh, 30s I think it is out and then pop this cap right there and then we can do away with that so wish me luck That wasn't so bad. Now it's capped off. This is free to move. While I'm out here, I'm going to try to get this section off because it will make it easier to pull this inside out. So we're off there, we're off there. Now take these pieces and I'll bring them around the back in case we need them later. All right, with the outside work done, now we're gonna get into the messy stuff. Well, a little bit messy. So some of you may have seen that before. So that is for cutting cement and we're going to be cutting a path. So that's the inside part of that pipe that I just took off. We're cutting a channel here. Got to stop because this pipe is still active and then continue it to connect it with the channel that goes through the other room. But we also, because we're putting the washing machine, the clothes washer here, I have to make another groove through here. Fun stuff. And all the while, these are all still active plumbing, which, yeah, so it'll be fun. That's what they say. All right, so it's time to make some noise, some mess, all of that, and get this floor cut. So this is good times. But <clears throat> brings us a little closer to getting all this done. So we're going to set you up out of the way and uh, start cutting some floor. This is going to be loud and messy. So let's do this. <laughs>
All right, so as you saw, the saw is struggling. Um, there's something wrong with maybe the carburetor or whatever. It's not my saw, I can't really mess with it. So I scored the floor a little bit, which I mean, I'm gonna have to jackhammer it. So this is gonna be fun. Yeah, away we go. All right, so as you have seen, it's not so easy, but we are like 90% done. I had to stop, take a breather for a minute, and then, yeah, we're gonna have to work on getting all this out of the room. Um, I got like, I don't know, three-ish feet over here to go to get to the wall. And it, I stopped for a minute because this is, there's pipes on the floor here. Just like there was a pipe here that I went around. And I just wanted to be fresh so that uh, I don't hit these, these lines because it's, I don't want to mess. Because um, the lines still have power, or not power, um, water. Yeah, so let's uh let's finish this up and start getting rubble out of the room i, I imagine there's going to be some cleanup um i'm probably gonna have to cut the rebar that is mixed in here and stuff like that but for the most part i'm hoping you know we're clear um then comes the i'm probably gonna have to go get a trailer full of sand because we have to line all of this with sand to put the pipes on. So we'll figure that out. Um, but I am trying to get this done for when the uh, plumber shows up tonight. So he does the plumbing work after his normal plumbing jobs. So yeah, I got from now until, you know, what do I got? I got probably four and a half hours to get this all done. Should be plenty of time. So, all right, let's get to Jackhammer. All right, so I think the jackhammering is done. I think there'll be a little bit to clean up around the edges and stuff. I don't know until I get the rubble out, but let me flip you around. And that's what we got. So it ended up coming off the wall. So I just took it out. And then we're all the way up there. So that's where the washer's going. So we need that there. And then it comes across the floor and then it goes that way and that's where it goes out 
So this trench goes all the way to the kitchen so that we have a place for the sink and the dishwasher to drain. So now I gotta go get the, the tractor with the bucket, bring it on up, and start getting this rubble out of the room. All right, so we got the tractor up and this battery's getting a little low. So when the battery finally dies, I think I'm gonna take a break. But we'll get you set up and I'll get a couple of wheelbarrows out of this room. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so we're getting there. Uh, most of that is cleared out. I do have cleanup work to do with the jackhammer. So now I gotta concentrate on the, the skinny trench going over for the washing machine. And yeah, and the battery on this is about 5%. So you'll catch a little bit of this, then I'll go put it on the charger. All right, y'all, so it's like, yeah, it's late, 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 late. I think it's, yeah, it's after nine. So long day, long, long day. But, but, check this out. So, because of the way it comes in, we had to bring it around like that with the stack of uh, 30, 30, 30. Um, to kind of get it up and along the wall because that's for the upstairs bathroom. But you can see, and there it comes off for the sink. And it comes along here, comes off, and goes that way for the wash machine. And then it goes down the trench that I cut for the kitchen because this is only for the kitchen. So. All right, y'all, it's been a productive week. We got all the drainage in, uh, well, 90%. And yeah, oh, we're getting a little bit of rain now. Go figure. Uh, got that front done so that we can potentially get the front closed up. Uh, we do have the short run coming from the front door of the party room. Um, that, I, that I'm gonna do on my own because it's a one hole connection. Um, and then we're going to go and, uh, you know, get some concrete poured and such like that. Um, that'll all happen once the fresh water's in. Uh, that's what's going to be going on next week. And yeah, good times. Lots of progress. So we're going to wrap this one up. Get it out to you. It's going to be out a little late because we, because I did work uh, into the weekend. So the editing is gonna have to be done, you know, Sunday night and stuff like that, because we've been going full, full gas. Um, so I'll get this all edited up for you and get it out to you. We have been busy in the wood barn, a little sneak peek. We've gotten most of the wood in for the year. Uh, so that's another plus, but I'm gonna get going. And I'm going to ask you, if you haven't yet, please click that subscribe, click the like and the notification bell so you can find out when new stuff comes out. And sticking with my motto, if you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, reach out, give them that what's up or that what's app. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next adventure, I'll be the same.